question one if you open a curly bracket s such that 2 is less than equal to s less than 18 where s is an integer and 7 plus s is equal to 4 modulo 9 find the highest value of s here you must be careful with the range the given symbol of inequality means that we are considering from 2 to 17. in order to solve this modular equation using the given interval you simply look for the highest value of s to be added to 7 so that when you divide it by 9 the remainder is 4. in modular arithmetic we are only interested in the remainder all right now i'm going to start from 18 downward but because of the of the range we are starting from 17 because s is less than 18. so we add 17 to 7 and divide it by 9 to see if the remainder is 4 or not so 7 plus 17 is 24 divide by 9 you have two remainder 6 it is not 4 so we try again next is 16 7 plus 16 you have 23 divide by 9 you have two remainder 5 what we want is remainder 4 we try the next number that is 15 7 plus 15 is 22 divide by 9 you have 2 remainder 4 so note the number that gives remainder of 4 after the addition and division from the numbers tried 15 is the highest value of s because it gives remainder of 4 in modulo 9 so the correct option is option C question 2 the sum of 1 1 0 1 1 base 2 1 1 1 1 1 base 2 and 1 0 0 0 0 base 2 is 1 0 M 1 0 N 0 in base 2 find the values of M and N here what you do is to add you add this binary number then compare your result with this to know the position of M and N and you know in binary number we only have two digits zero and one so this is the arrangement for addition you always start from unit to the other side so if you add here this is the result okay let me add it one plus one you have ten because you are dealing with base two so you put down zero and you carry one here if you add here you have eleven you put that one you carry one if you add you have ten put down zero you carry one if you add here you have that is one plus one is ten then plus one again eleven you put that one you carry one if you add in this place you have this result you can do it this way like here now if you add one plus one plus one plus one is four we cannot have four there so you divide four by two and you have two remainder zero you put down this zero and take two for forward and because it is two you cannot write two down you divide two by two again and you have one remainder zero so you put down zero and you take one forward so this is the result you compare with m you see that this one is in the position of m that of n that means n is equal to zero n is equal to one 
and this zero is in the position of m that means m is equal to zero so m is zero and n is one the correct option is option c question three a trader bought an agent for fifteen thousand dollars outside nigeria if the exchange rate is zero point zero seven five dollar to one naira how much did the aging cost in naira so you start from the exchange rate this is the exchange rate with this exchange rate you convert fifteen thousand dollars to naira so this is the order you multiply by this and divide by this that is what you have here and if you do that you have two hundred thousand naira and the correct option is option b question four if 27 power s times 3 power 1 minus s over 9 power 2 s is equal to 1 find the value of s this is exponential equation so this is a given equation in order to solve you clear the fractions by multiply through by 9 to the power of 2s and you have it in this form if you check all the bases the lowest base is 3 you spread 27 in base 3 that becomes 3 cube times that is 3 cube times s 3 power 3s this remains the same. 9 becomes 9 squared times power 2s. If you simplify the left hand side, law of indices, if you multiply the same base, their powers are added. So you have this, you add the power. If you expand this bracket here, you have 3 to the power of 4s. You can equate the same bases and you add 3s minus s is 2s plus 1 equal to 4s collect like terms transfer this 2s to the right hand side it becomes minus 2s so you have 1 equal to 4s minus 2s and you have 1 equal to 2s divide both sides by 2 s is equal to 1 over 2 the correct option is option b question five find the seventh term of the sequence 2 5 10 17 16 he, 17 26 here you simply get the the pattern from the few terms and you get the seventh term the first term is two for you to get the second term, you add 3 to the first term. That is 2 plus 3 equal to 5. To get the third term, you add 5 to 5. That is 10. So from here, the pattern is to add odd numbers. You add 3, you add 5. So here, you've added 7. So you keep on adding odd number. So 26 is the system so you need to add 11 and you have 37 for the system then the seventh term is now 37 after 11 the next odd number is 13 if you add it you have 50 the correct option is option c examples question six sorry for that given that log 64 base s is equal to three evaluate s log eight base two so we need to get s from the first equation this is the equation in log form if you convert it to index form you have this result s cube equal to 64 we, we cannot get the same base but you can get the same power by expressing 
64 as 4 cube. So if you equate the powers, you have s equal to 4. Then you come to s log 8 base 2. You replace s with 4. For us to have, you know, log of 8 of base is 1. For us to have log 2 base 2, for us to get 1, you have to express 8 as 2 cube. You see that? And by power law, this 3 comes back and multiply the log in this form. Log 2 base 2 is 1. And 4 times 3 is 12. So 12 times 1 is equal to 12. The correct option is C. Question 7. If 2 power n is equal to y, find 2 power bracket open 2 plus n over 3 bracket close. So this is what we can simplify looking at the problem. So from law of indices, now look at it this way. If you have this problem and you are asked to simplify because of the same basis you simply add. So we reverse this to this form. Okay. Now from here, we can get 2 power n from here if only no n over 2 can be written as 1 over 3 times n. So you can factor out 1 over 3 in this form. You see that? So 2 power 2 is 4. This term is equal to y. So you have 4y to the power of 1 over 3. And that is option A. Question 8. Factorize completely 6as minus 12by minus 9ay plus 8bs. Here you factorize by grouping. You take two terms that have anything in common. You group the two together. Looking at them, this is the problem now. If I should take 6as, I can pair it with minus 9ay. Then I'll have a... Now, the many terms, you follow vertical order. You already B is common. Between S and Y, S comes first. So I will take plus 8BS before minus 12BY. If you didn't do it this way, you will have problems with the order of the letters. So you group them. The first two terms, first group. Last two terms, second group. From the first group, you can factor out 3A and you have 2S minus 3y from the second group you can factor out 4b and you have 2s minus 3y if you take out 2s minus 3y the common term the remaining terms there that is 3a plus 4b we form the other bracket so b is the correct option now if you didn't see this way after taking after writing down the problem, you can also take the first term and the last term since they have S in common. And you can take the third term before second term since you are following vertical order. So you have it in this form. So the first group is this. Ensure that you always separate the two groups with a plus sign. Take a plus sign and put these two terms in this bracket from the first group 2s is common if you factor 2s out you have 3a plus b from the second group you can factor at minus 3 and y in this form remember that any term you factored out is used to divide each term in the bracket so if you divide minus 9ay by minus 3y it becomes plus 3a and if you divide minus 12by by the same minus 3 that you factor out you have plus 4b if you take out plus you take out 3 
a plus 4b the common terms you are left with 2s and minus 3 that will form the other bracket if you share the two the two answers now the difference is the position of the bracket both are the same question 9 find the equation whose roots are 3 over 4 and minus 4 solution such equation is quadratic because of the two roots and it is obtained using the simple rule of x squared minus bracket open sum of roots bracket close times s plus product of roots equal to zero so we have the two roots through addition and the two roots being multiplied if you open this inner bracket plus and minus is minus so you have s squared minus bracket open 3 over 4 minus 4 bracket close times s here 4 can cancel 4 you are left with minus 3 in bracket equal to 0 if you simplify this bracket you have minus 13 over 4 so you have s squared minus bracket open minus 13 over 4 bracket close times s plus and minus here is minus so you have minus 3 equal to 0 if you open the bracket and at the same time multiply through by 4 to clear the fractions minus minus is plus so 4 times s squared that is 4 s squared multiply the middle term by 4 you are left with 13 s you multiply minus 3 by 4 you have minus 12 equal to 0 the correct option is c or you can do it this way you you equate each root to s in this form because the these are the the answer you get if you solve the equation all right so here we clear this fraction first by multiplying through by four just this side so you have four s equal to three or s equal to minus four so you move the constant to the left hand side so that you can equate to zero so if you move three in it becomes four minus three then s plus four you it together and equate it to zero by the time you expand you have it this form when you add like terms you have four s squared plus 13 s minus 12 equal to zero you have the same option c Question 10. If m is equal to 4, 9 equal to n equal to 9, and arrow equal to 16, evaluate m over n minus one whole number 7 over 9 plus n over arrow. So we write out what you are asked to evaluate and let's convert the middle term to improper fraction. So you have it in this form. If you replace M, N, and the last letter with what the standard is arrow with what they stand for, you have it in this form. So this is fraction, addition, and subtraction. You find the LCM of 9 and 16. That is 1, 4, 4. And the rule is that you divide each denominator by the LCM and your answer times the corresponding numerator. So you have 144 divided by 9. You have 16 times the first numerator of 4 minus. Divide 144 by 9 again. 16 times 16. You divide 144 by 16. You have 9. Then 9 times 9. If you simplify the numerator, you have 64 minus 256 plus 81 over 144. When you add and subtract, you have minus 1, 1, 1 over 1, 4, 4. If you reduce by dividing by the common or the highest common factor, you have minus 13 
minus 37 over 48 and the correct option there is option D option D okay the highest common factor that can divide the two numbers is 3 so you have minus 37 over 48 so note that Peter calls simplified maths if you are viewing from YouTube ensure you subscribe like and share the videos to your friends and your colleagues if you are viewing from Facebook follow like the page also share PSM videos